Hello, welcome back to the mines of Titan where the bosses are hidden from us. I mean, this is the only game where the bosses are actually hiding from me. So, if you look at the map, you'll see there's something very, very strange over here. There is a ledge over there that seems to go into the darkness, which is probably not true. Also, if you then near this thing, you will sometimes see an enemy over here and you'll hear grunts. Now, this is not intended way for you to get to this enemy, but as you can see, he's there and he'll spit on you. So don't stand there, there's no way you can reach him. You can kill him, but that's the wrong way to do it. You have to kill him on the other side. If that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but it will work. Okay, I'm a bit also upset that I cannot really make the rifle of justice because that would have been the next upgrade that I needed. So let's make our way over here. And you'll see why. What about this? I guess I have to get the items anyway. So you arrive over here at the south part, and you can see there's a wall, a fake wall. And you also need a grab arm. And I said that lowers its durability. And it will say I saw something over there. Also, we'll get another mining drill laser over here in case we didn't have enough. And I recommend you also have the chemical resistance suit, of course the grab arm and whatever else you think it will help you. It will also be helpful if you have the food that increases your acid resistance. And I recommend you save over here because even though if you even if you know how to do all of this the right way, it's still going to be very tricky because of certain factors. I guess I should have auto saved. Yeah, let's auto save before we try this. It's going to be very hard to capture him because it's like capturing a Pokemon, the Pokeball. This thing has a very small radius, so when that happens, it goes on cooldown, and it, the entire area will be filled with acid. So let's reload that. Uh, I might, you know, edit all of this out. It's probably doable, manageable, possible to capture him, but it seems like you need a lot of tries. The loot the enemy has is not important in any way, but you know, it's a collectible item. It's a unique item. We need it. It's an accessory. We want it. We will get it. Maybe I need to be closer to the enemy, but remember, your goal is to pull the enemy on your side of the ledge, so that means you probably need a free spot in front of you. I don't know, but that's the way to do it, otherwise you'll get killed by the acid in no time, otherwise if you kill him on the other side you cannot get the loot. Seems like this is a very very interesting concept, and I'm, to be honest, I think I am behind it 100%. <laughs> Just needs more fine tuning yeah we got them but as you can see it has a bit of help as well okay. and you also need something to remove the acid afterwards so as you can see even with my acid resistant food my acid resistant suit which is what what is the amount that this is? Uh, 15... 70... 72 acid resistance, you still can get a lot of acid damage and if you're not careful and kill him fast enough, you'll die anyway, so... It's tricky. It's very, very tricky. I also use nano recovery. We have the mutant hide, which is the normal loot for a mutant. And bone, which is again the normal loot. And this is the power glove, the unique. The unique item you get, and as you can see, it's an accessory. It melee accuracy is plus 10% and fumble chance is minus 3%. Now, the thing is that this is amazing for melee, as you can see, because it gives you so much accuracy and minus fumble chance, but at the same time, this will give you health on attack, which 
as you saw, my health was going up very, very much. So yeah. Definitely doable, but you need to wait a little bit of time. Definitely annoying to do. But I guess I should have mentioned you need some inventory space as well. Ah, well. We're not going to do that very often, I hope so. Okay, now let's go down into the mines normally. That was the proper way to do it. It works. You need a lot of stuff to do it and a lot of preparation, but hey, it works 100%. By the way, you can also get killed by the acid in case you don't have enough health healing items after that. So be very, very careful. Also, I might want to go to that area again, but for now, let's just loot the area normally. I don't really need more items or more loot, but I can get some really interesting things. For example, right now I can craft the poison grenades, improve fire grenades, timer bomb. And this thing does a massive amount of damage, so even though I cannot craft the rifle of justice or whatever it's called, I guess the grenades can more than make up for it. Also, you can use a lot of grenades for this fight as well. I have the high frequency grenade, the flash bombs. A lot of June capsules, and the drones just do damage around them or something like that. You also have some. You also have the gravity grenades or the anti-gravity grenades in case you have researched them or did a quest, which might make the enemy levitate after you capture him and put him on your side of the ledge. And if he just floats, you can probably attack him. And I'm not sure if he will attack back. Anyway, experimenting in case you don't have what I had over here. Okay, how is the research going? The research is going amazing. And I keep forgetting to sell my stuff before I go into the mines. Now... I think the only way to go on the other side to go into the pit itself, but well, we'll see. Yeah, I think this is this whole area is just for looting, so we need to go back into the pit. Not really, not really, you know, that happy for. Yeah, even with all of the bugs, all of the minor problems, I think the game is very, very cool and very fun. Yeah, I'll collect a lot of acid because further on into the game, I'll use a lot of grenades. I have a distinct feeling the enemies will start appearing in much larger numbers. More than I can handle, for sure. As for the money situation, well, yeah, this is what I mean, look at that, look, look at that. Look at those maniacs. Piercing arm, hmm. What was the pathway for me to go below? I think yeah, I have to use the ladder of the ladder. You know, the ladder. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> They're so soft against my bullets also. I had the mutant bullets, in case you're wondering if you can kill them faster, yes, you can kill them faster with the mutant bullets, which will help you again. I guess I had a lot of tools at my disposal to kill that enemy, but I forgot to mention them. Yeah, researching this game is wild, because you might get to some very, very unpredicted results. It says depleted after I used up. Yeah, the damage can be a little wild, because if you have good research against an enemy, they will they'll be immediately smashed by it. 
Okay, durability is still holding on. I guess I can throw a repair on it. Oh, we have to go all the way down up there. Also a bit afraid of what might be over here. I hey, also search this part of the mine. Hmm. Guess I was very very efficient last time I was here. I see red. I guess I have a spare pick, but let's repair this one because we might be here for a while. Maybe some people not like this fact, but I don't know, I like everything about the game. It seems like the developers know what they're doing. The only problem I might have is that if they decide to nerf the difficulty. The difficulty as it is, it's fine. Especially because, as you can see, there's no cover for the enemy, so you can shoot them everywhere from anywhere. So even if I don't have the justice rifle, this still is enough to destroy them pretty easily. That was the crystal cave. Well, I guess we have to go... Ah, come on, let's go to the crystal cave as well. I mean, we are here, so might as well go. Probably the best place in the game to make money, and you'll make a lot of money. My research is almost completed. Also, we have to get to the next level of the filters and we'll add some of the other things. I really want the high power rifles because they are basically more or less the same. Still, they're still a little bit weaker than the Justice rifle, but I guess I, I play the game too fast in that regard. And the game will be 10 times better when I play it for a second time. Missed loot? That's... That's heresy. But I didn't miss it, I just didn't have time... Oh, I did miss this one. I guess it's just another shotgun. I already have a shotgun, but as you can see, this is not a craftable shotgun. It's the, it's the very bad one that has a lot of fumble and... I guess you can just take it to sell it. Yeah, okay. Noted, noted. Also searching for nickel. We might have nickel around, but... I really don't see it. I also want to revisit this <laughs> secret area over here, because it seemed like there was not much I can take from here. Yeah, just more of cocktails, uh, which you should already have at this point. I guess I'm also advancing a bit ahead of the difficulty curve, and by that I mean... I have more items than I should be having. This on the red again, yeah. This is the most dangerous creature. Well, I guess it's worth it. Okay, so let me take the methane ore. How I hate the stabbers. Hey, that was a bit of an overkill situation, but... Okay, 
guess he didn't see me. What is that thing? Belcher. That's another new mutant. This game is amazing. They have so many enemy types, I cannot really even remember most of them. So we have the Belcher, you saw we have the Spewer. There are a lot of enemies with range attacks as well, so I can only imagine how hard it will be to defend the generator or the reactor at some point. Hmm. Here we have a bit of an acid situation on us. Mine passage, yeah, mine passage, more like the mine, mine graveyard. Okay, so we can go through there. Yeah, I don't think I want to get more copper. At this point of the game, you should be careful what you pick up. Copper seems like it's one of the worst decisions uh, because it doesn't really give you a lot of money. Oh, just get a lot of methane. Same situation applies for the iron. Hmm. I grab that. One. Yeah. Tell about that. Something I cannot pick up. That's the worst possible time to get dark. Okay, power relay fuse. Now this will eat more power from my reserves. So, this will be a mining area, more or less. Okay, let's save the game because I'm a bit afraid. Now, I don't really know what's ahead. I only read about the boss because it was very, very unclear how to do it. And that was almost one hour of playing. Because I had to get ready for the adventure, then I had to go down there, find the enemy, convince him to fight me. Huh. That's it. Can use the elevator already. Medical facilities are sterile. Almost an absence of the usual sense of the outside world. Well, Titan's medical facility was the opposite, and some stench hung in there, make that made breathing difficult. Failed experiments during the monster attacks. The consent is a marathon, not a sprint. We just needed more time. I don't think we are ready to visit this area just yet, so let's see what else is over here. So, it's kind of cool that you can go to the medical facility just by you know, going over there. So, yeah, I activated the filters in every location apparently. I should probably find the filter to this area as well, but I'm lazy. I'll just assume it's in the medical fa Oh. That's annoying. I'll just assume it's in the other area as well. Yeah, <laughs> you need to come prepared with a lot of resources. As you can see, I'm basically draining all of my iron resources at this point. 
we can go to the right or to the medical facility as well. Uh, sure, let's go underneath here. Because the main goal is to find nickel. Oh, the, the developers really captured the feeling of hopelessness and of the abandoned huge mining operation colony thing. They do. They did a great job at giving the player everything it needs to survive and thrive in the world. I don't like any of this. Poetic journey. Uh, this will be the famous puzzle I keep hearing about. Well, it's just for extra loot, so don't worry. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. I recommend you don't do it because it will drive you a bit insane. Okay, let's try to do it. We'll probably see a lot of edits. My first attempt will be unedited, of course. Monsters, who do this? Who would make puzzles? Yeah, it's over here in the usable. What? I guess the notes are added over here. Poetic journal, okay. Deadlier, my 15. Well, it's, I hate this guy already. So it looks like the poem will get you started. So it's 10, you always have to put the last number of the sum of the numbers on the column so if this number let's say it's 10 you put 0 and he says you have to start with 0 because that's the poem 10 arches so that's 1 and 0 so you start with 0 and once you're over here you have to add the numbers and the sum will be the next number so this is 1 0 6 will be 7 so that's 3 5 this, this will be 12 so you'll have 2 that's 0 8 i guess it's 8 this will be 10, so that will be 0 again, 11, so that's 1, 3, 1, 9, 5, yeah, okay, apparently that was not so hard, fantastic Nere, and watch my videos. He is indeed fantastic. Definitely not worth the trouble. that an onion <laughs> like it's an amulet oh what omniscope installed on zone so we actually have something that increases our damage so physical damage plus 25 percent of perception plus so this actually might be one of the items i might replace it because my perception is very high already it's 51 so judging by this it will be about 12 to my damage oh it only damage okay increase damage to undamaged enemies so i guess my first shot might be a one shot kill but again if i had the justice rifle this would have made sense and i probably would have used that but as it is right now nope no thank you Felix, I guess the puzzle will be called Felix Z Puzzle. Uh, I guess I don't need to save if the, if the auto save did it for me. And yeah, my goal over here is to find nickel because I'm sure there will be nickel at level 4. A grenade would have been better there.
Dude, this is what I'm talking about, the game getting much harder after a while. I need a fire grenade or a poison grenade in this area. What is that thing, spawner? Wait, the grenades didn't activate? I'm so confused. Okay. Yeah, firepower, super firepower will be needed here. Yeah. Yeah. What does the drone do? Oh, it's a shotgun. I guess it only stuns them a little bit with ammo. I'm never out of ammo. I might destroy the gun if I... I guess that's why I have a spare gun all the time. <laughs> this is why you carry a spare gun in this game. You might destroy your gun super easy because... I do think I can cancel... Well, maybe I should have tried to see if I can cancel this game. Punch me. But I doubt it. The thickness of the enemy horde was uh, added right here. Actually, it was more than adequate, it was scary. I guess the drones shocked them, but I didn't see them working, so that's why I'm not sure if it worked or not. Eh. High explosives would have been a better choice in that case, but I didn't have them on me, so yeah. doesn't look dangerous and that's why it's scaring me because if it would look dangerous i'd be afraid but if it doesn't look dangerous i'll not be afraid and that's what gets killed in a game like this so what's over here I don't like acid. Now, as you saw, to have a lot of acid resistance, the only way I can do it right now is to have the acid removers, to have the chemical suit, and to have the cockroach you can. But even that seems like it will not be enough for that particular chemical trail. What? The tiny enemy. It's like they're dancing, just put, <laughs> put of the Necro Dancer music on top of that creature's movement and you'll probably see dancing. I heard the pitter-patter of very very tiny feet. 
So where am I right now? Oh, I guess we're over here and the infection level probably was... Well, probably was. Was. Just one million or something. Yeah, I guess I got like with the shock drones, but definitely high explosives would have done the situation. Would have handled the situation better. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It was way too much time on the acid. That's junk. Last deposit. It's impossible, does it drain the durability of the... No. Oh yeah, it does drain the durability. So, so far I've seen... Well, I guess the glass deposits can be mined with the alpha pickaxe. I've seen the sticky plant in the other mine. That was another secret. I guess we can go there and get that. <sighs> yeah, I guess we'll need to get the alpha pickaxe for this stuff. I like this. That's basically a very rare resource, but why are they showing me the things behind it? Oh, I'm not sure. Nickel game. Nickel, do you know nickel? I want it. Oh, okay, so this is just the other side of the mine over here. It was a super dangerous area to get into and now I think I'll just leave without actually getting anything worthwhile need to do some inventory management I don't actually need to collect more poison and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's going to be needed for the future, I guess. And that will not be enough, so in case you don't know how to do this particular area, you need to have the belt item over here. And then you need to put acid resistant uh, tokens on it, or whatever they are called. Let me see if go oh, modules, yeah, modules. Uh, you need to put acid resistant modules on them because some of them will give you burn resistant, some of them will give you anyway, you, you get the idea. Uh, you get the idea. So wow. I thought I'll be done with this map today, but I guess you can go on both sides of the mine right now. As you can see, until this point you will have you had mines on one side, but here we have on both sides. Now this will also mean it's going to be very very tricky to see where you are going, and I hope they implement a better map for this. Uh, because what can you tell? You just go over here and then you go left or right. That's not going to be that easy. Okay, so let's quick save over here. Let's see what's behind it. I really want to find some nickel today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will still kill me. And I think this is the part of the game where many people are upset with because they'll just be able to cross it but they'll not be able to go back. They might be stuck over here in an end game situation. What? Killed. I guess this is another.
Oh, well, it says you can inject it, but you cannot inject it. You have to use it as an accessory, I guess. Would have been funny to have it as a permanent bonus, but I understand it. That would be a bit, a bit too much. Let me see what my current acid resistance is. Oh, 100%. Why? Oh, because I also have some... Uh, Something from the Endurance, so 11 from Endurance, so it's 20% additive. Anyway, you know in, how in some games like Quasimorph you have 20% to your thing? Apparently sometimes it's 20% to your current resistance, but now this is a flat 20% bonus increase. So I think... Why, why you have Acid Resistance and Acid Resistance, so I'm not sure how, why you have 5 and then 20%. Special. I'll just assume you, you absorb 5 damage and then you also reduce the damage received after absorbing 5 damage by 20% which will make it... Yeah, I guess that will solve the issue, the icy damage. And this is getting slightly damaged by the acid. So I guess that the resistance comes from your endurance plus whatever we are wearing so that... That will be 77%. Yeah. And 88 with the endurance bonus, judging by what I see over here. And the last 12%, I guess it will be from the 5 points I have of end. It's a lie, it still damages me quite a bit. <laughs> How does this work? It should not damage me in theory. Yeah, I guess they have to work on some bits like this. Yeah, you have to be super careful. That's why they give you this many med kits. To use them, not to look at them. It's going to be annoying because now I don't have the acid removal and I wasted four turns basically doing nothing. Okay, it will gradually go away, but it will kind of eat at my item's durability. But eh, that's okay. We can manage, we can survive this. You also get minus minus two percent of max self, so. That seems like it's a lot, but it's not actually that bad. We have the Dermal Shield. Wow, we have got a lot of unique items today. Look at them. Look at them. Yeah, I'll probably be okay. But I just have to remember to use the healing item all the time so that the acid decreases. It actually decreases super slow. Is it worth... Yeah. Might be better to wear the suit after all. <laughs> My health was dropping super fast without it. Okay, this is, where, this is where I would normally end the video, but because of the way the game is designed, I just want to see what's in the next mine, because clearly Nickel is here. I smell it. I I know it's here. I want it. I guess it would be easier for me if I did it like this. We're safe now. Use a drink. You mean water? Well, I guess I should be more careful with these ads. 
As you can see, this mine doesn't really have a lot of infection. This was completely overrun. Get out of nowhere, like they normally do. I probably shouldn't be close to it. What happened? What happened? I fell into a pit? Oh, okay, it's one of those things. Plug, glue, goo. I was a bit scared because I thought I fell into a pit and I have to fight for my life yet again. And I guess this is why you need a melee weapon. Pouch of poison. Yeah, we already have the pouches of poison. Yeah, I guess the game will give you everything you need, even if you don't do any research, and I guess that's the whole point, maybe. I am not giving up. I want that nickel. Looks like I have to go into the pit. Yeah, <laughs> take a hint, go into the pit. Mm, sure, let's save over here and we'll, we'll try to get to the bottom of the pit. The pit of the mystery, the mystery pit. I guess it's enough uh, material for one video, but I don't base my videos on what I recorded. I just want to get everything done, or as much done as possible. It's a dead end. Dad. That seems like you could press the button like the Looney Tune cartoons and destroy it. I'm afraid. Seems like this is taking me on a magical area. Fear bomb. <laughs> what do monsters fear? Humans, of course. What? What? Do you, what answers did you expect? Humans. That has a nice color to it. That was probably a mistake. Because I'll have to pass through that area now.
Oh, this is a Skulker. I don't think it's a... What? Is it a Stalker? I don't know. So, it still eludes me. The nickel still eludes me. Okay, so I went into this secret area just to not find nickel. Oh, there is a ladder going even further down there. I be that's that's <laughs> that's what the nickel is. The red. Yeah, I guess we should let it be destroyed at this point because it's much more expensive to use the repair kits than to actually make another pickaxe. Okay, I don't like to end on the cliffhanger, so we'll see what's in there and then I'll end the video. Oh, that was a great, that was a great little adventure we just had. Oh, so it's five already. Yeah, as you can see, I couldn't stay long, longer in here, even if I wanted to. Looks relatively fine to me. Oh, it's only 39% infected, that's why it's relatively fine. Nickel ore. We have found the nickel ore, yes! So I assume there will be more in this area. Now, I think nickel is one of the rare components of the game, so you will not be getting as often as you would get copper or iron. So be very, very... Oh, it's another over here. Beautiful. Everything I wanted. Like I said, I knew there was some nickel around here. I guess it's in the B05 East Area Mine B. Okay, I'll reload. I'll farm all of this. And I'll be back on the surface, do the defense mission, do all of that nonsense. <laughs> it's going to be so hard to do all of this nonsense. And then I'll have to also manage the camp a little bit. We'll be back next time. Bye-bye.